Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm playing more of this game because I love it so much. It's not a normal stream time, and if anybody's joining in, thanks for joining. Um, I'm just going to get right back into where I left off on the game. So, here I go. What is this one? Part one, the three trials complete. All right, what's today? Buy a boat. Here we go. Let's go, fancy pants. I'm leaving, dude. Just go. Calm down. All right. All right, here I go. Journey has begun. Time to go see Stan. I just knew you'd be back. Yep, I'm back. I knew you wouldn't be able to get that little beauty out of your mind. Oh. Come on, let's go take another look at her. I'm ready. I'm ready to take another look. So, hopefully it's good. I'm curious. Let's get down to brass I'm going to try to get this. I'm going to try to get this boat. Understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. Um, let's talk let's extra. Let's talk extra. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? So what I'm trying to do is I think I've got to remove all this other stuff. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. There's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Did I tell you about these porthole defoggers? Uh, I, think I think I can, I can live, live without, without that, that particular piece, of, piece junk. of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? The anti-lock anchor? That sounds amazing. Um, but no, I'm not, I don't want that. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? The rack and pinion rudder. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I go without it. Without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Velour sail covers? <gasps> I think I can live without no, that thanks. particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly but wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? Wow. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I told him I don't want it. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? 
But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? You did. Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Five thousand. And that's my final, final offer. Five thousand pieces of eight? Deal, 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 okay, deal. Okay. Yes, I got it. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. <laughs> Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Do you have that note from the <coughs> Yeah, I do. Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I feel the same. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. Oh, yeah. I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock, and don't forget your crew. All three of them. I'm going to try to push this frog machine. Maybe if I push it. Huh. Nothing. I sold the ship. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm off on a long vacation spending some poor sucker's money. Arrivederci, baby. Stan. Love Stan. <coughs> It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break <laughs> his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. Oh, no. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? <laughs> Love it. Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Maybe. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Um, uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Oh boy. Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? I'm not talking so about money. What's that waterlogged at all. wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. There you go, part two, the journey. Through the courageous.
courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. Oh boy. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tail. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh. Oh boy. I'm doomed. Yeah, probably. Pretty sure I'm gonna need that. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. Let's see what else I can get. It seems to be locked up tight. Looks like an empty chest. It's made. Must be dealer prep. There'll be time for that later. All right. So I've got a feather, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First Mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Oh no. <laughs> Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soup we fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll okay. set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Hey guys, what's happening? Beat it, Guybrush. I can do to get you guys to help me? Uh, excuse me, Guybrush. You're blocking Oh the my sun. gosh. Uh, I, I know I've got to do something. Okay. Why well, what's anything can. special about it? Can I open it? It doesn't seem to open. Okay. 
Maybe I can put something in the cannon to make it blow up. Ah, the hatch. It says, what was it? Supposedly there's a recipe that it looks like it was made. The question is, if I make something, will it, will it make it so that way I end up on the island? I'll take some cereal. I can't pick that up. All right, so I've got a pot. Uh, look at the cooking pot. Looks like your run-of-the-mill ship's cooking pot. Okay, there's got to be some recipe. Well, I don't see anything special about it. Okay, let's go down to this hatch. They look like kegs of gunpowder. All right. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. Okay, I've got some gunpowder. All right. Um. They're just old rusty chests. Can I open them? They're all rusted shut. What about this chest? There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. Okay, so I've got some wine. Let's open these trunks. See if there's anything I can get. They're rusted shut. Okay. Black chest. It's rusted shut. Um. Okay, these kegs. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I They're just remember. old empty kegs. Ah, old empty kegs. Okay. And I need to make something. Oh, what am I going to make it with? Alright. Inventory. called how to arm yourself in sea battle. Okay. And let me look at pamphlets. It's called how to get a leg up in treasure hunting. How to get a leg up in treasure hunting. Um, it's called how to get ahead in navigating. Okay. Loved this stuff when I was a kid. Okay. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Where is this recipe? I've got to find out this recipe. All I know is I think I have to find a recipe, and then by finding the recipe, I should be able to do the thing. So, so here, use inventory. And there's no place back here to put the gunpowder. Okay. Maybe the cannon nozzle? Hold on, let me look inside the cannon nozzle before I do anything. Well, I don't see anything special about it. Okay. Let's use the gunpowder and use cannon. That doesn't seem to work. It's much too dangerous to climb out there for no reason. Okay. <sighs> Gunpowder's there. All right. What is up? It's very quiet. Okay. Gotcha. I'll adjust it. I bet it's, um, I'll adjust it real quick. If it's too quiet, I can quickly adjust that. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I don't want to blow up.
I want to blow up speakers, but I always worry that it's going to be too loud. Let me know how the sound is on that, and then I will uh, let me get the game back up and running. Tell me how that sounds. Thanks for letting me know about it, too. Um, can I use... I have nothing important to write. I never do. Inventory, use. I have nothing important to write. I never do. Huh. Brought it up a bit? Okay. How about the sound of the, um, just, just the game? It seems to be locked up tight. Hard to turn your speakers to 11. Well, I thought this is like a Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap is so good. All right. Got the volume up now more. Let's see if that does anything. Let me know. But yeah, I can always adjust this too. So I try not to go too loud on my voice. Only because it can be so much. You don't have Spinal Taps. It goes to 11. You know, it goes... What, what's so special about it? It goes goes to 11. Alright, so I've done all this. I think I've gone into everything. I just gotta figure out what I gotta do. I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color, this is a very fine wine. Okay. Spinal Tap, so good. I'm going to walk up the rope ladder, see if I have anything. What a fine looking flag. Shivers me timbers just looking at it. Right, I took that. Huh. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. Then I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Excuse me, Guy Brush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? I see your point. Thanks. Yeah, the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Nice try, guy brush, but no banana. What do I have to do? Go back to the hatch. I'm going to go back down and see if I can find out what's going on in the kitchen. Um, random pots and pans. Looks like you're one of the mill ship's cooking pot. Um, I don't have a recipe. Wouldn't know where to begin making soup. Okay, so I need a recipe. How do I get a recipe? Inventory. It says... Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Recipe. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Okay. Captain's Log, <sighs> March 23rd. Time to mess with the recipe. Tooth rot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. All right. 
Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. <laughs> we are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Okay. See, there's anything in my inventory that has something like a note. It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. Still have a map up here, that's right. All right. Let me take a look here. Recipe. Oh, what in the world is this? This is a treasure map. Okay. What about opening? Great. Maybe there's a toy. A toy prize inside. Yes, sweet. Okay. This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. Okay. Maybe it's to the black chest. I'm going to try the chest in here, though. I'm going to try the using this key. With the cabinet. Sweet. Okay. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Okay. Hey, look, a piece of paper. Got and the paper. Oh. Uh, I should have already used what? What should I have used? Let me know. Um, all right. Yeah, I used I used the treasure map. I didn't know. Like, I was trying to remember. Was there something else on the treasure map that uh, that I didn't use? So, let me look at this. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. -hmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Zinc oxide. Yellow 8. Mine mononitrate. And BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Human skull pressed. Okay. Squid ink. I can quickly... Okay. Monkey blood. Monkey blood. All right. All right, let me see what I've got and see what I can do. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I need gunpowder. Wrong hatch. Go to this one. Oh, the dance steps, yeah. All right. I'll take some more. There we go, got some gunpowder. Go down here. And let's see. Use cinnamon stick. Cooking pot. I love cinnamon. Alright. Use okay. Inventory. That should be enough. Use. Let's see here. All 
All right. Rubber chicken. About the time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Use. Good thing I've got a million of these. What am I missing? Okay. Inventory. Cinnamon stick, wine. Use pyridos. Mm, this is going to be good. Sure, but I think it's pointing towards Melee Island. I'm not sure, but I think it's pointing okay. towards Melee Island. <laughs> what is up, Kentucky Fried Dice? Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing well. Just uh, trying to figure out this, remember this recipe. So I've got to look at it one more time. I feel like there's something I missed. Or maybe. Um... It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. All right, so. I'm trying to remember what else I gotta throw in there. Look at this recipe one more time. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick, four leaves of mint, one human skull, pressed, one squirt squid ink, two pints monkey blood, mm. one live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following, pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to this. Do I need to go back and get that ink? I thought I had everything. Inventory. Um, got the cinnamon in there. No staples to be removed. All right. What do I need? Oh, that chicken needed to... It's okay, that chicken was okay. Well, uh, let me see. I need to pick up the ink. That's it. It doesn't seem to open. There we go. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Here we go. I feel horrible because I just threw a feather in there that's not part of the ingredient, but it's okay. All right, let's see here. Just a drop. Yikes! There we go. Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly. What is up, extra life for kids? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Moments later, the voodoo spell. I decided to hop on for a little bit, play a little bit. Not not too much, but um, I'm about to hop off and. Go enjoy the rest of my Days night, but pass. I wanted to just, you know, play a little bit of video games and have some fun doing it, so, yeah. And I think once I get onto the island, I'm going to go ahead and end, so, yep. Beth is watching uh, Daredevil Season 2, so I'm watching it with her one, off and on, uh, and it's been good. Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! All right, time to use the cannon. Uh, inventory. That isn't gonna work. I don't see anything special about it. Yeah, I really want to see them do a it's lot. It's much too dangerous so. to climb out there for no reason. Okay, let me see here. Inventory. Use. I'm only gonna put this on if I really have to. Are you kidding me? Ah. Maybe I need to talk to them real quick. Let's see here. Talk to my crew. Hey, look. 
We've made it to Monkey Island. Let us know when you found the governor. <laughs> We've got an extra chair she can use. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Daredevil, Daredevil and the MCU should be good. I'm excited about that. All right, folks, I'm going to hop off for the night. Uh, I'm going to head on out. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I might be back on tomorrow just to play a little bit more of this, just because I'm enjoying it a lot. And uh, if we don't have Dungeons and Dragons on Tuesday, then I will be playing it again Tuesday night uh, until I beat the game. And then I'll go on to LeChuck's Revenge, which is a lot of fun. But I'll see you later. Bye.